Hey, what's up guys? I'm here with my bra. Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna be doing a uh, review brought to you by hookashisha.com. And today, we're doing a, a fucking flavor, but it's an are arena molasses flavor. And it's a uh, power. And, uh, it's the power of the dragon, bro. How I heard of this was from uh, Jay Hookah Smokes. So I'm gonna have, have him in my, uh, my description for you guys. Check him out. Cool dude. First things I'll recommend is not leaving the tobacco in these containers because if the juice gets anywhere, it just leaks out the bottom and it's messy. I got one of these little Tupperware things. The power almost smells like, like a really delicious perfume. At the same time, it smells like a uh, high lemon candy, or more sweet, like a Starburst or a Skittle. What do you get out of that? Well, Skittles and Starburst in my time. Smells really good. You should totally have some grapes after this. The difference from this, from the regular El Bucker, is very molassity. You know? Quite, quite a few more stems. Um, it's just it's just as cut up as the regular alfalfa cut is. It just seems like it comes with a shit ton of more juice. So I packed this in my Harmony Funnel Bowl, and I'm using the Cloud Lotus, and it's working really well. I also got the more hose with the more glass tip. I must say it, it does taste like you have like a full handful of Skittles, even all colors. Even if it's like blueberry or whatever, man, you taste it. I don't even think there's a blueberry skill with it. No, there's berries. There's berry skills, I think. Or Starbursts. I don't know. They should, they should make a blueberry skill, though. And a blueberry Starburst. It tastes delicious. It's like way out there, man. It's great. Just a great little blend of uh, how fuck I did with molasses. And yeah, man, right on. It's good stuff. There's a nice aftertaste. I can't put my finger on what it is after this. It's, it's not like berry. It's, it's like a sweeter lemon, maybe. The yellow ones. The yellow. Starburst or Skittles? Both. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. It's like a yellow Starburst exploding in your mouth hole. It's good. And the more you mentioned Starburst, that's all it says. Yeah, it happens. The tin still smells like a... Like it's had candy in there. Pretty cool. <laughs> Some great cloudage. Definitely. Yeah, I got my AC on, so it's kind of blowing it around a little bit, but still. So if I had to grade the molasses version of the Alpaca, I would probably grade it from like a 1 to 10 scale. I'd probably give it like an 8. It's really good. It's got a smooth taste, smooth clouds. A good, good taste. taste. Yeah, it's really good. What would your grading be for this? I would give this a rating of a 9. I like it a lot. It's surprising. I mean, I didn't know about this line until uh, Jay Hoop Smoke posted about it, and I was like, what? I didn't even know we were smoking anything. And I was just like, all right, man. I just, I looked down and there was a hose in my hand. And then, yeah, it's kind of like floated his way to it. It's just blowing it, you know, going ham and cheese on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that like wraps this up. And I hope that helped you guys out if you guys want to try this. There's a link in the description down below. It's down there somewhere. If you want to click it purchase this try it. it's actually really good i found it he knows where it is he knows you know you know we know till next time look at drew coffee mcgee i can't remember my name right now but it starts with a j